Hey, change of scenery today. I'm here talking to the Illinois Health Information Management Association, but what I want to talk to you about is dealing with rejection on the job. We've all been there. Maybe we didn't get a promotion that we wanted or didn't get included on a project that we thought we would get included on. Rejection on the job feels painful and, it, and then it makes us feel like we're not doing our jobs very well and we start to underperform at work if we don't deal with the situation swiftly. Turns out, research shows that there's one technique that works great for helping us deal with on-the-job rejection and that is distraction. Now, distraction is a technique that you don't want to use when you're struggling with just anything. Distraction is really a negative tool because you're minimizing, you're not focusing. But when it comes to rejection, strangely enough, research shows that's exactly what you should be doing. You should be distracting yourself away from whatever it is that you wanted that you didn't get. Now, if you want to distract yourself, maybe you get involved in a different project, ask to be put on a different team, or you could distract yourself by taking up something new in your home life, taking up a hobby that you've always wanted to try. Whatever it is, distracting yourself away from whatever you were rejected from is actually a great tool that helps you rebuild your personal power, feel strong and successful again, and gets you right back on track so that you can continue to succeed in your professional life. One rejection does not make or break your career. So if you get rejected for something that you really wanted at work, don't fret. Actually distract yourself for a small period of time until you can reclaim that personal power, and then you'll be on the path to success once again. Good luck.